the items we save through life can help tell our story. That's the case with boxes and boxes of materials recently donated to the Rochester Institute of Technology by billionaire Tom Galasano's family. Tom Warner Cable News reporter Seth Voorhees gives us a first-hand look at the Paychex Founders Archives. RIT has a pretty wide-ranging history because of its ties to the community. A university's history. Oh, that could be him right there, too. Which is cataloged. Pictures, pictures, pictures. In the school's archives. The reason that we have archives is to sort of save history for perpetuity. Oversight of the collections. And we'll take it out of these boxes. And is Becky in. Simmons' job, including a new assortment of belongings belonging to Rochester's richest man. I mean, it doesn't really give you any hard facts about him, but it's a really interesting thing to see. Billionaire Tom Galasano's archives are now being kept at the RIT Wallace Library. Baby pictures of Mr. Galasano. Um, this looks to be high school. Founder of Paychex, three campaigns for New York governor. It kind of covers his whole life. To letters from business associates and even friends like President Bill Clinton, all accessible to anyone who'd like to see them. The archive materials were donated by Galasano's family and done so through his foundation, which just celebrated its 30th year. You know, he's woven into the history of this area. Galasano has given away hundreds of millions of his fortune to help fund charities and children's hospitals. Though he didn't graduate from here, his name graces RIT's computer building. He's a friend. Been a friend. <laughs> He's a very good friend of RIT. Inside that building, his desk is on display with a signed photo of the Buffalo Sabres hockey club he once saved from bankruptcy. You know, there's nothing like objects to sort of uh, make history more tangible. Aside from curiosity, archivists say there's a purpose behind Galasano's collection. I think, you know, sooner or later someone's going to have to write the Tom Galasano book or they'll be interested in some aspect of paychecks or his run for governor. Okay. Someone could come in here and use these records to chronicle his life. Archivists will spend the next few weeks sorting and cataloging Tom Galasano's archives. Mementos of a self-made man. It's history. Seth Voorhees. <laughs> In the flesh. Time Warner Cable News.